¿Vamos? Ok. Bien. Buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a la rueda de prensa oficial del Sevilla Good evening, everyone, and welcome along to the uh, pre-match press conference ahead of the 2019-2020 Europa League final. Yulen Lopetegui, the head coach, is with us, along with Joan Jordan and Nemanja Gudei. As ever, we'll start with the players. We'll begin with uh, Joan Jordan, then we'll move to Nemanja Gudei, and then finally we'll have questions for the head coach. First question. Good evening. Joanne, when you signed for Sevilla last year, did you ever think that you would finish the season involved in a Europa League final? Good evening, everyone. First and foremost, I'm very proud to be involved in a Europa League final. We have been looking to get into the final all season long. It's been a very tough year, but uh, we're well within our rights to dream. I knew I joined a very strong side, a very good team. I knew I simply had to work very hard and this year has gone very well. The team have improved in a very significant fashion. And now there are simply 90 minutes to play. We've prepared for the match as best we can. Esta pregunta es para para Goodell. Eh, Goodell, podemos decir que el, el magnífico ambiente A question for Goodell. The squad appears to be one big family. That's something that we've noticed all season long. Do you think that could ultimately help you? And that's one of the reasons behind the success of Sevilla. Good evening. It's been said time and time again that one of the strengths of this team is really the unity togetherness, the fact that we're a team we're a team out there on the pitch, on the training ground. We've seen that time and time again this season. We've also seen the importance of being a united team. A number of new faces joined Sevilla at the start of the season. But I think thanks to Monchi and thanks to the head coach, we have uh, managed to produce uh, a very together side, even though we have had uh, significant uh, changeover in personnel. Siguiendo con Jan Jordan, que era el primero que íbamos a preguntar. Yo quería preguntarle por el rival de mañana. A question for Joan Jordan. What sort of final do you expect tomorrow night into a very strong side? We saw that against Shakhtar Donetsk. What sort of game are you expecting? And after the win over Manchester United, do you expect a very tough game? Do you think you'll have to dig in tomorrow night? We know that we're up against very strong opposition tomorrow night. We have a lot of respect for INSA. And that's why we'll try to perform well in a very difficult match and really focus on the fine details which can ultimately make the difference. What I'm most concerned about is Sevilla, if you will, but we have prepared for the match as best we can and we intend to follow our game plan. This squad was built to compete both for the Champions League and domestically, as well as the Europa League. So we know that we have a, a very good squad and we have a team of players that deserve to be in the final and we'll try to really maximise this opportunity and try and uh, win the match. Nemanja. I don't have too much to add to what Joan has said. We all know that Inter are Champions League quality opposition. They finished just short of winning the league title in Italy. But we know 
what we are all about. We're on good form. And we're going to try and focus tomorrow night, just as we have done time and time again this season. If we do that, we can beat anyone. So I'm very confident in ourselves and uh, we'll give everything to win tomorrow night. Are there any other questions for the players? Okay, no further questions for the players. We can let them go. Thank you to the players. Now let's move on to questions for the head coach. Buenas tardes, Julen. Soy Fernando Barbero de Canal Sur desde Sevilla. Good evening, Julen. I'd like to ask you a question about the opposition. They're one of the best sides in Europe. There are a number of players that can ultimately change the game. Are you going to be more aggressive or you're going to sit back? Yes, Inter are a comprehensive side. They've got great players. And they have a, a very consolidated way of playing, just like any of Conte's sides. They're able to attack in the final third. And they also don't afford too many, opposition, uh, too many opportunities to the opposition at the other end. That's one of the issues. They really are a comprehensive side. They're complete. They can do a bit of everything. How will we approach them? We'll do what we've always done. We'll try to maximize our strengths and also be willing to dig in when the going gets tough. We have a solid, united team. We're able to read the game well. And as I've said to the players, we need to be able to identify with what we do best. And we also need to produce our best performance. That's what we'll need against this opposition tomorrow night. We have to work very hard and see where we get to come the end. Eh, usted a lo largo de toda la temporada siempre en la previa de los partidos ha lanzado un mensaje de Throughout the season you've always put across this message of respect for the opposition be it against Real Madrid or Barcelona even against lesser opposition on the eve of a match. Tomorrow Sevilla will need to produce their best possible performance. Have you considered how you might be able to do that. I know it's a crucial game in which we need to really focus on all of the small details. So perhaps set pieces. What will you focus on in particular? That's a good question. Togetherness and respect uh, against all opposition, that always has to be the case. That's our watchword. Why wouldn't we have respect? If I didn't have respect, I'd make a huge mistake. But we're well aware of the fact that every last detail will be crucial in a cup final. I don't think it will be overly different to other fixtures that we've been involved in. But from a footballing perspective, ultimately, that's what we need to do. We need to try and do what we always do. We must remain focused. We need to concentrate defensively from an attacking perspective. We also need to uh, read the game and also come up with the most suitable response based on uh, the difficulties that Inter create for us. They're a top side with some world-class players. They've got an incredibly experienced head coach. And naturally, determination, ambition, and the desire to produce a big performance is what drives us. That's what we're focused on. And uh, using that as our starting point, we'll see what happens. But ultimately, we're focused on what we need to do. Obviously, that's even more than the case against a side like Inter. Julian, son two two preguntas concretas. Solo preguntarte cómo anda Lucas, que tenía molestias y que lo tuviste que cambiar contra el Manchester United. You had to take him off against uh, Manchester United. So these have been very demanding matches. So give us a bit of the latest from the treatment room. It'll be another demanding match tomorrow night. I can't hear very well, but the question was about Lucas, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. With regards to the first part of the question, 
we'll have a look during today's training sessions and we'll see Lucas how he's getting on he's had an extra day to uh, recover but everyone needs to be 100% tomorrow night everyone's fit and firing we hope that that's the case for Lucas as well as for the other question there's no scope to think about anything other than the final We've got so much desire to win the game that we're not really thinking about anything else. We're going to try and produce our best performance. We're going to have confidence in what we can do and who we are. We know all about the potential that Inter have and the difficulties that lie in store for us. But as I've always said, we want to try and uh, overcome the opposition, in this case Inter, and we'll try to do exactly that. We want to have confidence in what we can do and we will try to produce our best football. As we've said, Small details are very important. Anything could happen tomorrow night in the game. And so we're going to try and uh, focus and play well. And also uh, play to 100%. Buonasera. Le Buonasera. Chiedere, se pensa che la partita di domani possa essere anche un confronto di stile fra due scuole e se considera... Do you think that Antonio Conte is a typically Italian coach. Bueno, eh, Conte es un entrenador italiano. <laughs> Típicamente tiene una connotación que yo no que tú no se la Yes, Conte is an Italian coach. As for typically, well, he's a, a great coach. He has a way of playing and he's got a lot of character. He's been able to transfer that to all of his uh, sides. Naturally, it's not easy when you coach uh, a top side. And naturally, Inter is no exception to that. Inter play just like their coach wants them to. It's full of uh, players that are ready to compete to win Serie A and the Champions League. That's the fact. That said, we are very confident in what we are able to do and what we have to do. We have a lot of desire. We're very excited about the game. But I wouldn't necessarily add any further adjectives to what I've already described. Hola, buenas tardes, Julen. Eh, ha dicho Antonio Conte antes en rueda de prensa en la ciudad, en la rueda de prensa ciudad oficial. Earlier on, Antonio Conte said that only the victors are the names that are written in history. How can you manage nerves? because this is a unique one-off game for players. There's a, a number of sentences or famous lines that you can say about finals over the years. We've heard it all, everything's been said. But as I said, we are relaxed, we're calm. And that's the calm that we need to have to make sure that we're balanced and focused in the cup final tomorrow. This is a match that we've been striving for all season long. And our aim is to go into the match fit and firing, not only in terms of preparing the game from a mental perspective, but we also want to strike the right balance and uh, make sure that we're emotionally ready as well. It's not different to uh, any other game, albeit there's a lot more at stake. Are there any other questions? Salve, buonasera, Mr. Lopetegui. Volevo chiedere questo. Buonasera. Good evening. Sevilla have already knocked out Roma in the last 16 and you produced an excellent performance. It was, uh, there was a lot of intensity, high tempo game. Do you think you can reproduce that sort of fixture? Do you think that's the sort of game that you need to... Uh, set up in that way to beat Inter just as you did against Roma or will you mix things up slightly? La Roma y el Inter se parecen como una castaña en huevo. No se parecen en nada. Roma and Inter are two completely different kettles of fish, apples and oranges. There are no two similar teams, albeit they set up in a similar way in terms of their shape. But from a footballing perspective, they're very different teams, which is why I think it will be a completely different match and we have to uh, prepare in a suitable fashion for the game. Hola, Julen. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Eh, es la Good evening, Julen. 
this is the last time that, that you will speak publicly before tomorrow night's final. What message do you have for the fans in Sevilla and for the dressing room? It's a very special competition for the club. The message is what I said the other day. We've worked very hard to try and uh, secure this opportunity to be involved in this fixture. We're delighted to be here. We want to produce our best performance. And we hope that the players can really enjoy and savour the match. And the same goes for our fans as well. That's the only message that I can put out there. We'll give absolutely everything out there. That's always the case, and it won't be any different this time around. Eh, esta mañana, dos de tus jugadores han recibido una magnífica noticia con la convocatoria de la selección, pero eso les. Some of the players have received great news in that they've been called up for their national teams. Does that mean that their holidays will be shortened? Let's not talk about that now. I simply want to focus on the final. I don't want to talk about any other topic that's not the uh, cup final, of course. That's what that's. Gracias. Any other questions for the head coach? No. Okay. Thank you very much.